with the Trash and Fashion Show. Um, I would like to introduce to you our MC. He is a Joplin High School graduate, graduated 2003. 2003 with my oldest daughter, so that's, you know, he's getting there. This is Philip Mitchell, KSN News Anchor, and he will be our MC today. Hey everybody, how's it going? You guys having fun? Great to see you, okay. So, this is the JHS Project Runway Repurposed Fashion Show. Let me get that fixed, sorry. 2014, on behalf of the Joppa High School FACS Department, I'd like to welcome you to, it's actually the Recycled, Repurposed, Redesigned Fashion Show. If you're not familiar with this group, it's the Family and Consumer Sciences Program here at the high school. They offer classes in fashion, also foods, culinary arts, career, family, leadership, interior design, and child development. Recycling has become an integral part of our daily activities at home, work, and also here at school. And actually, did you know that Missouri's recycling industry employs over 28,000 workers throughout the state and that the EPA reports that over 1.1 million people are employed by the recycling industry nationwide. Now our goal to today, for today is to impress you with a variety of fun fashions and accessories that can be made from your recyclables or trash in some cases. We want to remind you that buying recycled helps create jobs, also saves energy, natural resources, and the landfill, as well as helping to save you money all at the same time. Now, what do you imagine when you hear the phrase recycled fashion? Anyone? Okay. To many people, recycled fashion brings to mind hand-me-downs, a garage sale, or a thrift store, something like that, some sort of a bargain that clothes many of us spend our childhood in. Now, this is a little bit different here today, so without further ado, Let's welcome our first model, shall we? This is Snowbell. Okay? Snowbell. Can you hear bells? This dress is called Snowbell. Its face is constructed out of plastic garbage bags. The skirt of the dress is layered with cotton balls that have been glued with adhesive spray. The top of the dress layered with aluminum foil. The middle section has some glitter. Very good. Fun fact, aluminum foil takes about 400 years to break down naturally. This dress was created by Ariana Henson and Maria Tupper. Very good. in there that are glued to look like ice. Bottom stuff full of cotton to make it puffy and the glitter is meant to look like snowflakes. By the way, cotton or recycled cotton is often combined with recycled plastic bottles in order to make the clothing and textiles. This was made by Brandy and modeled by McKenzie. with this is that nothing is ever trash. You can always make old things look new again, so why throw things out? The top of the dress made from an old pair of skinny jeans, hand sewn together in sections to look like a corset. Layers of newspaper are the skirt, and white trash bags are the train in the back. This was made and modeled by Maddie. Black bra fabric, batting, 
lots of glitter, old drapes, and old dress shirts. This is made by Brianna Howerton and modeled by Nicole. Dancing Flurries. This is a 100% recycled dress made of newspaper, tape, packing foam, paint, hot glue, wire, and plastic bags. Here's a fun fact for you. Less than 1% of plastic bags are recycled each year, and each week Americans throw out 44 million of the 62 million newspapers that are printed. It's like throwing out 500,000 trees every week. This dress was, ba was made by Nicole Walker and Cassidy Triplett, and it's being modeled by Ashley Taylor. In a landfill, by the way, the doily was invented in the 17th century. 
about that? Take no one, it looks great. It is a strapless dress with a low back, layered bottom, and a heart-shaped bust. Now, stores usually make around $350 million just by selling um, the umbrellas. This dress was made and modeled by Alexis Delco. Wintry Mix. This dress made from an old t-shirt, also cotton balls, glitter, Walmart sacks, paper snowflakes, elastic. They started with an old t-shirt, cut and shaped it to fit, then added cotton balls using hot glue. Also spray adhesive was used for the glitter. The bottom is made to resemble a tutu. They use elastic for part of that. Walmart sacks to give it an extra fullness. Paper snowflakes, which also have glitter. Fact about this, American throwaway each year averages out to about 70 pounds per person. It's worth understanding what does happen to old clothes, as well as how buying recycled content and clothing can help keep waste out of the landfills. This was made by Kelsey Jordan and Savannah Owens. It's being modeled by Savannah. Great job, guys. <laughs> This dress has a cotton top with jewels scattered at the very top and a plastic skirt that hits at the knee. Styrofoam snowballs have been added along the bottom to look like she just came from a snowball fight. There are 43 species, if you will, of cotton in the world. Some cotton grows on trees. Styrofoam, by the way, does not break down easily and it releases chemicals when it gets wet and that in turn contaminates the soil. This dress was made by Faith Brown and Ayana Thomas. Way to go, guys. Icicle. This dress made of tissue paper, trash bags, gum wrappers, and cotton balls. The top is made from a trash bag with cotton balls glued and held together with Velcro. The skirt is made with a white trash bag and has been used as the base. Tissue paper has been strategically placed and glued to look like icicles dripping from the top. Another fun fact, in North America, for every person, they use 50 pounds of tissue paper a day. This dress, the Ice-tastic Icicle, was made by Hannah Hitch. And Brittany West is being modeled by Hannah. tissue paper, curtains, and a Christmas ribbon. It's meant to represent a present. Fun fact, paper was invented by the Chinese around 105 AD and was kept a secret for many years. This dress was made and is being modeled by Nicole Alcorn. Number 
14, this is called the ombre effect. This dress is made of trash bags, also hula hoops, and paper. The inspiration came from the movie Frozen. Hula hoops have been used to give it, pardon me, the hula hoops have been used to give it a round flaring shape. They were hot glued to the inside of the trash bag, and construction paper was then glued to the outside of the trash bags to cover the back, for the back and give it an icy ombre effect. The cape was made the same way. Fun fact, the U.S. uses 25% of the world's paper products. Did you know that recycling one ton of paper saves 20 trees, 7,000 gallons of water, three cubic yards of landfill space, 60 pounds of air pollutants, and saves enough energy to power the average home for six months. This dress was made and is being modeled by Hunter Jordan. called Snowflake Madness. The entire dress was made by weaving Walmart bags through each other. The belt and strap have been made from blue fabric. The snowflake and bottom ruffles are made out of the Walmart bag handles. Fake snow has been added to give it that extra sparkle. A fact, over one million plastic bags are used every minute. This dress was made by Rayaya, Bryant, and Megan Ritter. It's being modeled by Megan. Great job, guys. flapper dress. Silver spray paint has been used to separate the layers. The top is made from a newspaper that has saran wrap for extra shape and napkins. Speaking of which, they also uh, have done some layering and painting there and Grandpa's suspenders have been used, I understand, to hold the bottom up. This dress was made by Dineen Smith and modeled by Alyssa Smith. that can be made when you recycle. All the models now coming out on the runway. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now today's fashion showcase illustrates that recycling has tangible results. In Missouri alone, we have many innovative manufacturers producing everything from cat litter, PVC pipe, Boat docks, hardwood flooring, insulation, mulch, and many other everyday products, all from recovered materials. The most important component of recycling is you. Without consumer purchases of recycled content products, we lose the markets for the materials we collect and reuse. Thanks, everybody, for coming today, and remember to recycle. Let's give them one last round of applause, shall we? Thank you so much. So what's your name? Miss Gash. Miss Gash, all right. And what was the purpose behind this project? To show kids that they do not have to buy their clothes from the store, that they can get them from their own backyard. That's awesome. How many people were involved in this? Um, I think we had around 30 students in dresses. Total, we had a lot more. A lot okay. more. Help. And this is the second year you guys have done this? Correct. And how would you say it has affected the student body? Affected the student body? Well, I hope it's uh, brought a little more school spirit. Yeah. Chantel, and Chantel, did you design this dress? You and Connor both did. All right, well, tell me a little bit about it. Um, well, the bottom and the top is both made out of Walmart sacks with coffee filters covering the bottom and tissues covering the top with glitter faded on it. So were these difficult to make? Um, there was a lot of parts.
parts that like fell off of it all the time and we were like, oh no, like put it back on, but it ended up staying and so that's good. Do you have anything to add? Um, it was just a great experience. We had a lot of bumpy roads in it, but we mainly just got right, got right back to it, fixed everything up, and I am really happy of what it came out with. Thank you. So how long did it take to make? Um, two months, something around there. It took a while. All right, well, you can tell that a lot of effort went into it. It looks great. So congrats, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.